Thirteen years ago, when I first became a dad, I had three humans to take care of in my life: my daughter, my wife, and of course the confinement lady we hired. Actually, I had three confinement ladies in two weeks. But is there a better way? Confinement care is something that not a lot of cultures have. Mm -hmm. The idea of confinement care in itself. There's definitely a culture of confinement in postpartum care in Asia, and healthcare companies are beginning to pay attention. So even in a month, we see like a lot of babies and a lot of mums. So our nurses are already experienced when they come in. If there's a growing demand for companies to capitalize on both these needs, can one company do it well? Become a one-stop healthcare service provider, and how do they see the future? Hi there, my name is John, and my partner MJ and I run a stock investing channel called Viral or Finance in Real Life. Being investors, we like to research beyond just a few Google results, so we started a new series called Viral on the Ground. Think of it as a mini docu series where we do on the ground research about a company before we decide if they're worth investing. And the best part, we're taking you along for the ride, all from the comfort of your screen. In this series, we're featuring a Malaysian healthcare company, where they are recently acquiring several new businesses to become a healthcare conglomerate in the region. As LYC Healthcare is looking towards more mergers and acquisitions to drive growth. We toured three particular businesses in this episode to bring you what's beyond the news and what's on the ground. Hi, good morning, Hi, Angie. Welcome to LYC Bukit Jalil. Thank you so much for welcoming me. As a new parent, maybe Angie, can you mm -hmm. take us through what are the procedures? How do they actually get to know about this centre? What's the first procedure that we, ha we have to do actually? Okay, so before we go up, we need to put on a gown ah, okay. and of course a hairnet. Ah. Usually most of our parents here are referred by their friends. I see, I see. Yeah. Is there like a referral program if the friends actually yeah. refer? Yes, ah. we have. Correct. We will follow up with the mother when the estimated due date is near. I see. So we will keep on, you know, check check on them, see when is their delivery day. So once delivery, we will, we will kind of estimate when are they going to check in. Do you think the culture is prevalent within Southeast Asia, like countries like Indonesia and all that? Because I'm not familiar. Right. Have you, have you studied those markets? Do they yeah. have this kind of confinement? So in a lot of the Asian cultures, there is this tradition of confinement where okay. in the first two, one or two months after you've given birth, mm -hmm. you take this time to recover, look after yourself. So in terms of how this is done, it does vary across cultures, mm -hmm. but the general one does come from, you know, you need proper food, mm -hmm. you need proper guidance, and usually in many cultures, the, it does mean that there's like a confinement lady or nanny that comes stay with you. Before all these confinement centers actually became big, right? Mm -hmm. Parents usually engage like a confinement lady to come to their home. Mm -hmm. Um, why would someone want to come to a confinement centre as compared to a, you know, having a confinement lady at your home? Mm, for me, it's actually reduced a lot of hassles. Okay. If let's say you are having a confinement lady at home, mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to take care of another human, another ah, adult. Okay. So obviously for us, now we're seeing the trend where more people are moving towards confinement centres instead of nannies because mm -hmm. nannies might be more difficult to find, mm -hmm. especially experienced ones. That's right. And there's so limited supply, there's only one nanny, she can only look after one family at Correct. one time. Correct. So the maximum she can look after a year is 12. Yes. So they are feeding the baby, they are burping the baby, they have to sit down. I see. They cannot like stand up and then, you know, rock the baby around or walk around, cannot. Ah. Ah, this is our SOP. Whenever, and then on top, you can see the CCTV. Wow. Yeah. It is I didn't our notice. One to one, <laughs> one to one baby camera. I see. So I see. the parents get to see their babies. Even the father, for example, father went out to work. Uh, they get to see their baby as well. I see. Uh -huh. Provide the pajamas for the mummy as well as the nursing pillow, which is very important. It's uh, a safe day you want to breastfeed. I see. From your experience, when the fathers actually come in, right? Do they actually stay with the the mother, or usually they come as a day visitor? Majority of the father, they will stay in. Ah, mm. okay. What about the older kids, if they have older kids and all that? If let's say they have an older kid, then they have to go for another room package, which is much more special. I see. Yes, where we have a king-size bed and a sofa bed. Ah, then at yes. least the family can stay in a... Yes, Okay. okay we okay. call it the premium or VIP room. What do you think, when, when you joined the business probably a, half, a year and a half ago, what was your biggest struggle, your biggest challenge, you know, in the ways that you saw any low-hanging fruits that you could help improve from a, you know, very 
independent third party perspective because you were from the corporate background, right? I mean, yes. Yeah. So fresh pair of eyes. What What do you see that was different that you know that was not in the operations? At the okay. Um, when I came in, actually a lot of things were already quite formalized. Mm. So it was just a matter of me trying to pick things up mm. and then seeing what I could tweak maybe here and there. I see. So I guess one part that I did focus a bit more on is on the marketing side. Mm. I felt like uh, before that, the marketing was maybe more organic, mm -hmm. but maybe it was time to kind of see how we could adjust things a little bit. And how to scale in a way. Uh. And have more of a fixed strategy of how we want to move forward. And I also see. maybe a longer term strategy. Do you actually track the analytics in the sense that right now has it changed with your change in marketing strategy that you get more inorganic kind of clients coming in? Generally, it's still a 50-50 breakdown. I see. I think things like confinement care and confinement centres, word of mouth matters a lot mm -hmm. because ultimately you are staying here for 28 days. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you have the best care. I see. So you do ask your friends. At the, time, at the same time, you look at reviews online. I see. So I would say most of our customer base is still quite 50-50 because both sides are growing. Wheelchair or something? Yes, okay. a wheelchair. Yeah? Hi! Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we have this facility floor at level two. Okay. First, you get to see our multifunction hall. Ah. Yeah, we run classes weekly. Okay. From Monday to Friday. For today, we have some yoga class. Okay. Postnatal yoga. So, so do the dads actually come in for the yoga class as well? Um, we are mother and child center, mm. so we only cater for the mothers. Mm. <laughs> we have our own hairdresser. Okay. Yes. When we wash, um, we call this ginger hair wash. Ah. Ah, during confinement, a lot of um, elderly people they say hey, you cannot sh you cannot shower, you cannot wash your hair. Okay. But when you come to confinement center, we encourage you to shower because hair actually trap a lot of viruses and bacteria. Correct, correct. Oh, what's the okay. what's the machine for? To slim uh, down or something? To slim down. Ah. To increase metabolism. Okay. Okay. In Chinese, they call this lan ren de fu ying. Wow. You okay. just need to lie down in. This machine. Okay. Okay, the whole bed is actually covered by uh, a lot of stones. I see. This one for daddy also can use. Ah, and this one is in even included in your most basic package or is. It is included. Ah, okay, okay. But uh, depending on what package you take, then how many sessions you can come in, lah, I guess. You are correct. I so, when next, I will show you our exclusive partner, Tanamera. Okay. Tanamera is actually a postnatal massage centre. I mean, okay. for us, um, postpartum mothers, of course, we really care about the massage, the bengong, yes, you know, getting yes, back yes. in shape. I see. Just as an example, we opened in 2018 at mm -hmm. EDI. Mm -hmm. And then after that, almost every year, we had a new branch open. Mm -hmm. So even though we've, we're actually quite young, mm -hmm. only about four years mm -hmm. old, we've already seen more than 4,000 moms wow. and babies. So <laughs> wow. yeah, that kind of knowledge is very difficult to get. Yeah. So we're just using it to constantly feed back I see. into our own system and then make ourselves better and send out. Uh, this building is actually a hotel. LYC took over three floors and we just uh, opened recently. We have a total of uh, 71 rooms right here. Yeah, so uh, that includes uh, different room types. We have the Deluxe, Premier and also VIP where they are actually different in room sizes. Well, I have been with LYC since 2018. Yep, so I think it has been, what, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 years? Yep. So how is it working here? <laughs> satisfying. Uh -huh. Yep, satisfying. I mean, when uh, because since the beginning, I've seen uh, from the first centre until right now the fourth centre. So, yep, uh, I would say that it's a great sense of achievement. Pretty sure you have parents that go through a confinement, private confinement and then, oh, cannot, and then come here, right? Correct, immediate check-in, we call it. <laughs> <laughs> so they call in the morning, uh, do you have room? Then we say yes. Some of them, they don't even bother to come and view the room, they just pay deposit. Uh -huh. Afternoon, they check into to NYC. Wow. <laughs> so we always do what we can to keep the customers happy and yeah. that can have its challenges mm -hmm. to make sure everyone is equally satisfied or even beyond satisfied yeah and then also just you know management because we have four centers right now mm -hmm. so there's a lot of running about making sure the quality control is all kept making sure everyone is doing what they should be luckily i've been blessed with a very good team okay so all of them are able to keep everything running smoothly but for me, I think that is the main challenge. Okay. Hopefully you have a helicopter to ferry you around. That would be great. <laughs> when your child number three comes, John, will you bring your kid here? Um, if I can afford it, uh, very likely. But yes, I think uh, to save the horror of having uh, you know, a confinement lady that we do not know the standard, I think that's it's going to be great. Uh, because 
as I was sharing with the video crew this morning, right, if you do your own confinement lady, you bring in and then you buy materials for food and everything, it adds up to almost the same cost, uh, to be honest. On the other end of the spectrum, LYC also acquired an associate stake in Anok, a geriatric specialist for the elderly, hence completing the circle. The circle of life, beyond just sentiment sake, is part of LYC's future plan to become a leading provider in the healthcare services industry. They are planning to cover many areas as they acquire several other companies, but that's a story for a different episode. In the meantime, I'm excited to visit this new state-of-the-art specialist centre that covers not only geriatrics, but neurology and orthopedics as well. Hi, good afternoon, Dr. Lim. Good afternoon, welcome to ANOC. Thank you so much. I understand ANOC is an associate company for the LYC Healthcare Group. Thank you for taking your time to explain the services and the facilities you have here this afternoon. Yeah, it's going to be my pleasure. First of all, this is a called an ambulatory care centre okay. or what we call an outpatient specialist centre. Okay. As compared to a hospital where they have wards and patients can stay in there, mm -hmm. what we do here is the patients come in on an outpatient basis. They okay. don't stay here, they don't get warded here, mm -hmm. they go home. But they also get to see the specialists here mm. to get the treatment and the diagnostics that they require you know, as an outpatient. Okay. This doesn't look like a hospital to me, it looks more like a hotel lobby. Is that meant to be that way? Yeah, it's not meant to be a hospital feel because mm. we want this place to feel cosy and personal. Like I said, we are a boutique medical facility. Mm -hmm. So that's why the design the setup is meant to let people feel com as comfortable as possible. Okay. So Dr. Lim, maybe you could uh, show us around the facilities that you have in Anna. Sure, okay, yeah, please. Come, come with me. And as you can see, you know, this is where our specialists uh, or consultants see the patients. Okay. Our intention is not just to have the client walk in once. Mm. You know, we want to create a network of services. We okay. actually have nine consultation rooms here. Mm -hmm. We have our neurology practice here as well. Mm -hmm. We have our neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. We have our orthopedic surgeons. Okay. We have our support services like, for example, physical therapy, mm. occupational therapy. Mm. These are all core and ancillary services. Let me yeah. share with you some of our uh, more advanced equipment that we have mm -hmm. that is not normally available in general practitioner clinics. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned just now, we are more of a specialist centre. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is our neurodiagnostic room. Okay. We have uh, some tests over here available. Okay. So, we have the EEG, like electroencephalography. Uh, okay. This is to study the brain waves. Okay. So these, these are for patients with seizures, with epilepsy. We also have nerve conduction study as well. It's okay. usually uh, handled by the neurologist. Okay. Under either neurology or the neurogeriatric segment. In outpatient settings, mm -hmm. very rarely someone has an MRI machine. Usually it's an in house for inpatients kind of. Usually for inpatients, usually in hospitals. Mm. That's why the queue is very long in hospitals. But ah. for us, we can do it, like I said, inst instantaneously. For example, in a major hospital, it could take up to a week to, for you to get an MRI or maybe two weeks. Oh, yeah. Here we can do it on the same day to get them the results. Frankly speaking, I don't know from the top of my head if there are any other facilities like this that is geriatric focused and uh, where the goal is to help people age well. We live in an age where the advancement of healthcare has helped prolong the mortality rate. With rising income and declining birth rates, our society is more receptive to better healthcare services at value prices. Starting from childbirth and confinement services to geriatric care, there's a rising demand for bespoke services at a more affordable prices. However, this is where the pain also is for any healthcare provider because the gestation period for any provider is long and arduous and managing rising costs of healthcare services is no easy feat. We all know the big conglomerate healthcare providers like IHH Group, KPJ, Sunway or even Syme Darby Group that dominates our cities. However, there's this niche and underserved group who like a little bit more bespoke services and at affordable prices. This is where LYC can step in to fill that gap. Are they there yet? Mm, not exactly, but they've started the ball rolling though and it's certainly in the right direction.